Hello everybody, it's Gloria, Gigi the Crochet Queen, and today's tutorial will be on this astrolabe motif that I am going to do a pattern to make it into a hat. And I made it in red. This is the red one. So now I am going to attempt to replicate it with this. So let's get started. And I will attach the pattern for the motif so that you can um, work that up. So we want to chain three and do a double crochet into each stitch. And a double crochet is yarn over, go into your stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over. You have three loops on your hook, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to continue that until there are one, two, three, four, four trebles. So we're just going to do double crochets all the way around. And when we get to the end, we will go from there. So right now we're just doing double crochets all the way around. So I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I have finished my round of double crochets and I wanted to let you know that I am using an H hook and also the yarn that I'm using is the Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn in Tutti Fruity and this is a three lightweight yarn so this hat is going to be smaller probably than the red hat but we're gonna see how it all turns out so let's move on to our next row and that next round I should say next round will be another round of double crochets. So again, you want to chain chain three, and that counts as a double crochet. And let's do another round of double crochets all the way around so that we can get a the um, hat will start to turn over. So we can start to make it, um, we'll start um, decreasing it so that it'll be small enough to go on a head. So let's make another round of double crochets and I will meet you at the end of this round. I am coming to my last uh, double crochets. And we're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain three. And 
and this is what your work should look like. And you will also uh, need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for this. So what we'll do now is chain three. And you want to skip a chain, I mean, skip a stitch and do, and you want to chain four. And then skip a double crochet and then double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. And you want to do that all the way around. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I am at my last double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into that last double crochet, chain one, and slip stitch into the third chain of the chain four. And then you want to chain three, and do a double crochet into your chain one space, double crochet into the next double crochet, Double crochet into your chain one space. Double crochet into your next double crochet. And you want to complete, um, repeat this pattern all the way around. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Double crochet in chain one space. Double crochet into your double crochet. Double crochet into the chain one space. Okay, I'm on my last chain one space and slip stitch to join and chain four again and skip one double crochet and double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain one. Skip a double crochet, double crochet into the next. Chain one, double crochet, skip a double crochet and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a double crochet and double crochet into the next. And repeat that pattern all the way around and I will meet you at the end of this round. And so far, it's pretty big. And the motif stands out very nicely. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, I am at the end in chain one and slip stitch into the third chain. And chain three. And we're going to do double crochet into the chain one space, double crochet into the double crochet, and double crochet into the chain one space. And you want to repeat this pattern all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of this round. And then we'll start working on decreasing the size of this hat. Let me show you what it looks like so far. It's really big. So we'll need to decrease the size of it so that it'll fit on your head. 
meet you at the end of this round. Okay, I am at my last chain one space and doing a double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I added, I counted all of my stitches, so that's why I have stitch markers around and I have 130 double crochets. So our next round will be a decreasing round. Oops, sorry. So, we're chain three, double crochet into the next. We want to double crochet um, around to your 10th stitch and on your 10th stitch we're going to double crochet two together so it's number 10 you have to go in to do a double crochet and you have two on your hook yarn over go into the next double crochet pull through and you have four on your hook, yarn over, draw th pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And that is two double crochets together. And you want to repeat that all the way around. And this is a decreasing round. And when we finish this round, we will do another decreasing round because this hat is very wide so we need to get it smaller for our head and let me measure it right now see if I can get a measurement so right now it is 15 inches across that's pretty wide so you want to get it smaller than that so it'll go around your head so again we're going to do a decrease into the tenth stitch so we're at ten I'm going to start a double crochet, yarn over, go into your next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And that's two double crochets together. So continue that all the way around and I will meet you at the end of this round of decreasing. So I'm at the end, and these were my last eight, uh, let me see, yes, my last eight stitches. So I am going to do a two double crochets together in the last two stitches. And slip stitch in the top of the chain three to join. So let me count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we have we went from 130 to 118 stitches. So another round of decreasing, chain three. And we are going to go 
go into the next. Uh, that's five. And that is six. So every seventh stitch, let's go, no, let's do every eighth stitch. We're going to do two double crochets together. And then start decreasing this even more. So when you get to your eighth stitch, let's make sure I did that. That's three, seven. Yes, every eighth stitch, you want to do two double crochets together. And I will meet you at the end of this decreasing round. So do seven double crochets and on the eighth and the ninth, you want to do two double crochets together. And I will show you that again. So that's five, six, and seven. And you want to go into your stitch, go through two, yarn over, go to your next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through three. That's two double crochets together. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I am at my last three stitches and I'm going to do two double crochets together and then a double crochet into that last stitch. And slip stitch to join. And you can see the hat is curling in some. And it's still got some work to do to get it all the way in. Okay, so now that is a total of 105. And if you don't have that total, if you're off one or two, that's okay. Because we're going to keep decreasing. So now we're going to decrease in every six stitch. That's three, four, five, and six, go in, pull up, pull through two, yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And that is two double crochets together. So you want to do that all the way around. Two double crochets together every six stitch. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I am at my last two stitches and I will be doing two double crochets together. And slip stitch into the chain three. And that row, I have a total of 90. So now we are going to decrease in every fourth stitch. That's one, two, three, that's four, and do part of your double crochet, yarn over, go into your next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And that's two double crochets together. 
So you want to do that all the way around. Every fourth stitch you want to do two double crochets together. So one, two, three, and four. And two double crochets together. So I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I am on my last two stitches and they will be two double crochets together and slip stitch into the top of your chain three. So as you can see, the hat has come in some more but we need it to come in a little bit more. The next round. Okay, so chain three. And double crochet. And in the third double crochet. And we're gonna do two double crochets together. So every third double crochet is two double crochets together. One, and two, and two double crochets together. And continue that around and I will meet you on the other side. So the last two stitches are two double crochets together. And slip stitch into the top of your chain three. And this is what your inside of the hat should look like. And now, you see it's a much smaller circle. So after the end of this round, I have a total of 54. So, and I tried it on and it's still not tight enough. So I'm going to do another round of decreasing into um, every third stitch and that should bring it in some more so if you don't have to do another decreasing round once um, I try this hat on hopefully it will be um, the right size that I'm looking for and because I'm using um, thinner yarn um, it takes a little bit more to get it in. This was for medium weight yarn. I would not have to do as many rounds. But after this round, um, hopefully it'll fit better. And then we can go on to our last uh, two rounds so i will meet you um, at the end um, of this decreasing round i have two stitches remaining so i'm just doing double crochets into those and i have a total of 41 if my count is correct Slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Okay, so now, okay, so we're going to do two rounds of half double crochets and 
this hat will be finished. So chain two and half double crochet into that same space. So yarn, yarn over, put your hook through that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, have three loops on your hook, pull through all three. And that is what you'll do all the way around. So just do a half double crochet into each stitch around. And you, when you get to the other end, do a slip stitch into your half double crochet, not your chain two, into the half double crochet. And I will come back to the end so I can show you exactly what I am going to do my slip stitch. So do half double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. I am at my last stitch of half double crochet. Now if the hat gets too small for you, you can always just do double crochets on this last two rounds. And you're going to slip stitch into your half double crochet, the first half double crochet that you made. And if you don't want to do the half double crochet and the hat turns out to be a little too small, as you can see, that circle got a lot smaller, but there will be stretch with this hat. So you can also do a just two double crochets around. So chain two again, half double crochet into that same space and half double crochet all the way around and I will meet you at the end. Okay, I am at my last stitch and you want to slip stitch into the top of your half double crochet and you can fasten off. So this, see if we can straighten it out so. So this middle portion is the motif And then the rest makes the hat. And as you can see, this circle is small, but you can stretch it out. And it would be a great slouchy hat. So I will show you pictures at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can sew in your ends. I'm going to sew in mine take some pictures. Um, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Share if you can. And until my next video, stay safe. Keep crocheting. Bye-bye.